Claire, Claire, wait. Damon? Look, Claire, before you say anything, I messed up. Big time. Okay, I should have never let you leave that party without telling you that I love you. I've always loved you. And if that means me running down every city street for the rest of my life to prove it to you, then so be it. We belong together, Claire. It's us. It's always been us. Whoa, hold on. First of all, I left that party because I wanted to. It sucked and I was tired. And what's this about you running down every city street for the rest of your life? I don't want that. I want a guy who understands that a relationship is a partnership, not just some decision that he gets to make. Yeah, I liked you, but there are a ton of other guys that I'll like too. We live in a huge metropolitan city. There's literally people everywhere. Good luck. What if I die alone? Get a cat. Park this way. Girl, forget about him. New year, new you. Molly, Molly, wait. What? Look, I know you don't want to see me ever again, all right? But before you kick me out of your apartment and out of your life, I, I just want you to know that I'm never going to forget about you. I'll never forget the way that you smile when you wake up in the morning. And I'll never forget about the way you, you blow on your tea if it gets too hot. I'll never forget about the way your nose kind of crinkles just a little bit if you have to sneeze. Now, the way I see it, if I can't forget you, I would rather always wake up next to you so I can appreciate you in person. I turned down the job in Rome. Oh, wow. You turned down the job? Yeah, so we could be together. Are you dumb? You haven't even got a response from me yet, but you turned down the job like I'm a sure thing? Well, yeah, I thought and that- And Jesus, those are the reasons that you want to be with me? I mean, they have nothing to do with who I am as a person. I mean, what happens if I get into an accident or I get Bell's palsy and I can't move my face? I mean, then you're really screwed. Oh my God. You know, thank you for telling me that. Get bent. Wow. In front of everybody. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I don't know. I, I couldn't do it. I was at the station. I was all ready to go. I had my ticket in hand. And something stopped me. I kept thinking about my new life, my, my dream job, my big spacious apartment, the paycheck. And then I realized that none of that stuff makes me feel complete, feel whole. And I started to think about what does make me feel that way. And I started seeing you, your face, your laugh, your smile, you, you make me feel that way. You complete me, and without you, nothing matters. Wait, hold on, nothing matters? Nothing. Stop saying that. Look, I get the intention behind this, and it's sweet, but if you feel incomplete without me, that makes this relationship codependent. That's unhealthy. And if I'm the source of your happiness, <laughs> a lot of pressure. You need to find this love you want within yourself. Otherwise, I'm just something you're projecting what you want onto that never ends well. What are you saying? Go find yourself. Then we'll talk. Can I at least crash here tonight? I'd just be enabling you. Oh. 